Look, the famed stare down of a practice squad player making a huge sack for his team after just getting called up. Cassius Marsh has been in the league for a few years, but he was on the practice squad. He was elevated just for this game, and he makes a huge sack of Big Ben on third down in a three-point game. And the Bears are getting the ball back. And this is after Fields just led them down the field, and Mooney ran one in on a nice play call from Matt Nagy, by the way. And all they need is that three-pointer, and they're tied. This game is a game. They're back. And Marsh does his usual, apparently, I didn't know this was his move, his, I guess, samurai flip and kick. Did you see that? Um, mm-hmm. I thought to myself, yeah. Yeah, that would honestly, that would put me in traction. Yeah, and then secondly, you know, just, hey, you know, there's more football to be played here. Don't hurt yourself. And then a flag comes out. I thought the initial taunting was because of that kick, kick. and flip. No. He had the temerity to put his hands on his hips and stare down the Pittsburgh Steeler bench from about 30 feet away. And Tony Carani throws the flag. Now, by the letter of the law of the taunting rule and the emphasis on it, we saw it just a couple of Monday Night Football games ago, and I said it was stupid then. When Darren Waller in his first target of the game makes a catch for the Raiders against the Chargers and so far up the road here, and he spiked the ball with his left hand on the Chargers' side of field. And you're not allowed to have a celebration in the direction of an opponent. And you're not ha- supposed to have one in the direction of the opposing team's bench. That's why I called it adding the concept of targeting to celebrations. That's what this taunting emphasis is. League doesn't want you standing over somebody and barking at them. And to that I say, check mark on that. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to start seeing that in Pop Warner and high school games because they saw one of their favorite NFL players standing over somebody and yelling at them. Don't want to see that. Get out. But when you do that, you start codifying it by saying you may not have it in the direction of a player or the opposing team's bench. Then you get stupid penalties being called like Darren Waller spiking the ball when he's all fired up and playing the game with the passion that you want to see as a fan. That's technically against the rules, even though I don't think there was a single human being outside of whatever official threw the flag that thought that Darren Waller was taunting the Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, take that. It's my first target of the night. (laughs) Come on, know the game. Know the sense of it. See the context. That's why you're a human being calling it. We're not using robots. Contextualize, please. So last night, yep, by the letter of the rule, he was staring down the bench. If he did that in the direction of the Steelers fans, in either in the end zone away from everybody else, fine. But he did it in the direction of the Steelers bench, and out comes the flag from Tony Carrenti, and I couldn't have been more upset, angered by it. Come on, man. Know the context of the moment. Who's he... Who's he standing over? Nobody. Nobody. Who's he actually saying anything to? Nobody. Who's he threatening from all that far away? Nobody. Guys called up from the practice squad. He's making a huge play. In that night, Monday night football, he's fired up. If his emotions get carried away a little bit where he's staring at the bench, look at him and say, don't do that again. (laughs) Can't throw the flag and say, By the way, fresh set of downs for the team that just got sacked. That's up three with little time left. Have some sense of it. If you asked a fan, what do you want out of the game? Somebody staring 
at somebody's bench or an official injecting himself or herself into the game when nobody wants it with a call that is a robotic interpretation of the rule and not a human being contextualizing it. Which one would you rather have out of the game? It's the ref, not the stare. Come on! Come on. That's what makes people turn the game off. And as somebody whose job it is every Sunday, and as somebody whose job it is every day of the week for 18 years to make sure you don't go click, that pisses me off. I can imagine what a Bears fan feels. Because it did lead to another three points for the Steelers. Game wasn't over, as was proven by the fact that Fields made those amazing throws. But it was huge at the moment. And in the end, unnecessary. And then comes the fact that Carrente contacted the player. Did he lose his balance? Mm. I, I I don't know. And I, it pains me to say this. Tony Carreni, I have met, I have known. His story is remarkable. He has overcome cancer. The fact that he's a 69-year-old man out there doing this job is remarkable. But when it comes down to it, he's got to keep that flag in his belt for something like this. It is not necessary and if that would cost him a downgrade, then shame on the NFL for making the officials think, I'm going to get downgraded. I might not officiate a playoff game because I didn't call Cassius Marsh for a stare down. Bad. And shame on the NFL if that's the case. Change that too. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.